before this video starts, I would like to say that I have coded a Discord bot. If you could please add it to your servers, that would be great. Um, yeah, we're still trying to grow. It's growing pretty fast. Uh, so yeah, add it to your servers. Link will be in the description below. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to code a member count command for Discord.js version 14. This will give you an updated member count for bots and members. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. For this to work, you're gonna need to turn on two intents. The first one is server members intent. Go to the developer portal, go ahead and turn it on. And then the second one is gonna be the presence intent. So again, developer portal, bot, and turn that on. To enable both of these, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to go to your client constructor. You're gonna wanna add in gateway intent bits dot guild members. And then we're gonna do comma gateway intent bits dot guild presences just like that then go ahead and save that we can go down and actually create the command here so we're going to do if command equals 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 a member count we can define both the member count and the bot counts we can do const m equals a message dot guild dot member counts uh, and then we can do const b for bot equals message dot guild guild dot members dot cache dot filter in here we can do member arrow function member uh, dot user dot bot we can go out and do dot size we can add a semicolon there we can go ahead and create an embed so you can do const embed equals new embed builder and we can set a color so we'll do blue we can go ahead and set a title i guess we'll say member slash bot count uh, then we can go ahead and set a description, and in here we can say uh, bolded member count, and that will be M, just like this. Uh, and then we can go down by doing backslash N, backslash N, and then we can do bolded bot count, and that will be B, just like that. And we can go ahead and send the message, we can do message.channel.send. Uh, and then we can do embeds and embed, just like that. And with that, we are done. So let's go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. What you can do if you want um, the member count to be without bots is you can actually go into the description part and we can do M minus B. You can add a total count if you wanted to by just going down here and do an N and then like total members or total or something like that. Um, and then we could just put in M like that. So basically, if we run this, as you can see, it will give us our member count, our bot count, and our total members, which is the bot and the members combined. Um, so we can actually count this out, and then I'll try to kick some people uh, so you can see what I mean. So members, we have uh, one, two, three, four, so that's accurate. Bot count, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so that's accurate, and then four plus eight is 12. So if we go ahead and kick an alt, um, and we could kick a bot as well. Um, and then we do member counts. As you can see, it will say total members is 10, uh, member count 3, bot count 7. Um, so yeah. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you do need to have both of those intents on if you want it to accurately update. Uh, so make sure you do that. Um, if this didn't work or you needed any help, make sure you join the help server in the description below. Um, and with that, I will see you guys in the next video.